Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a teaser on the new project Iris that is coming out hopefully in the next week or so. Uh, I'm just going to go over some of the new features and I'm going to show you guys some of the new add-ons that are going to be available. Now keep in mind I'm going to do an in-depth tutorial on how to get this up and running as well as that I'm going to put out separate videos showing you guys how to get those add-ons installed. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. But I just kind of want to go through things. So as you can see, they've kind of adopted the same sort of uh, menu as what we would have had on Project Lunar. I actually like this boot menu quite a bit because it gives us access to pretty much everything we want. Uh, if we want to boot right into RetroArch, we can do that. We can jump into Project Iris and we can go into Emulation Station. Now you'll also notice that there is something on the right hand side. Now this is an add-on. This is for the PPSS PP Standalone Emulator. And what that actually means is we now have much better quality PSP emulation. Now keep in mind there are a ton of things that do not run properly uh, and you can't expect everything to be super perfect because you are dealing with some underpowered hardware. That being said, we actually get some pretty good performance and I will show you guys that a little bit later on in the video. But what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and just jump right on into Project Iris. Now I do want to mention that I'm currently using a beta build, so there is still some things that are being worked out. If there's any bugs that come along, they will fix them before this goes public. Now I can't say specifically when they are hoping for a public release, but based off the information I have, this has already been in beta for quite a few days now, and we are expecting something hopefully in terms of a public release, maybe the end of this week or early next week or at hopefully at the latest middle of next week but again i'll be one of the youtubers who is going to be making uh videos specifically on how to get this installed and i will show you guys how to get it installed if you were previously on bleem sync and you're moving over to this build as well as if this is your first time modding your playstation classic so i've gone ahead and i've loaded up a ton of the extra add-ons that are going to be available and i'm just going to show you guys a few of those so the first thing that we're going to see here is we've got brutal doom which is actually really cool we've got our base doom as well we have devolution x we've got duke nukem 3d which is actually really cool and this runs really well and then of course we've got some of the older ones that we had on bleem sync like half-life and then we've also got open lara and another cool one is quake 3 arena now this isn't a game that i'm a huge fan of but i know a lot of people do like this game and i will show you guys that it is up and running as well and then if we keep going along we've actually got a few other things we've got the amiberry port we've also got drastic which we had previously and then we also have open open bore and then here's the PPSS PP uh, standalone emulator as well. So we have quite a lot of features coming with this new build. So I'm actually really excited for this one. Now I'm currently just using my test build from Bleem Sync, which is why you guys aren't going to see any additional games on here. But I did want to get this up and running and test it out to see exactly how well it works. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is a couple of the ports working. We're just going to jump into Brutal Doom. Now before we jump into this, any of the games or any of the things that I'm going to show you guys that I'm doing here are going to be using a standard PS4 controller that is hardwired in. Now they do actually have support for Bluetooth. I don't have one of those Bluetooth dongles. I prefer to use everything directly wired in, so that's my choice of preference. But if you guys do have Bluetooth controllers, you can expect that we will be getting that uh, alongside with this release as well. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into this game. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so the next one that I'm going to show you guys is Duke Nukem 3D. So let's go ahead and jump into that. And again, I am using a PS4 controller uh, with analog sticks for this game. Now the uh, second to last thing I'm going to show you guys in this preview is the Quake 3 Arena port, so we're going to jump into that as well. All right, guys, and the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is the standalone PSP emulator. This is a huge improvement over the previous PSP cores that have been used in conjunction with RetroArch or any of those sort of things. We're going to have much better performance, and we're going to get a little bit more playability. So I actually made a PSP video uh, back when one of the cores were released, and you guys could see in one of those videos, I tried to get God of War running, and it was completely unplayable. Like, we're talking in one or two frames per second and now we've actually been able to get that game specifically up to 30 frames per second now keep in mind it's still not playable but that is a testament to just how much of an improvement we have a lot of the games that ran reasonably well before will run really well now and i will show you guys a couple of those games so let's go ahead and jump into this so as you guys can see we have loaded up the ppss pp actual emulator and if we go over to games and we hit X, it should actually scan our USB drive and find any PSP games. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've loaded up four games. We've got God of War, Chains of Olympus, Kingdom Heart, Little Big Planet, and SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. I'm going to show you God of War just briefly to show you guys uh, just how much of an improvement we actually have running on the PlayStation Classic now. And then I'm going to show you guys Little Big Planet as well because I found that that game actually runs pretty good. And then we'll close it out with some Kingdom Hearts. So let's go ahead and jump into those games.
telling you, I'm no thief. Ha! That's what they all say. Well, we're on to it. Fine, I get it. You want me to leave, I'll leave. Oh, but can you tell me where I can find some other people around here? There's a castle beyond the chorus. I mean the forest. Got it. Well, thanks. And there you have it, folks. So that is the PlayStation Portable standalone emulator running on your PlayStation Classic. So as you guys can probably tell, I'm pretty excited about this release. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I will be making the uh, release of videos as well as tutorials all along the way. I'm going to work very closely with the development group at Mod My Classic to make sure that I'm getting content out to you guys to fully take advantage of your PlayStation Classic. So again, please subscribe to the channel but that's more or less all I have for you in this video. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of some of these new ports. And are you as excited for this release for the PlayStation Classic as I am? Let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys again real soon.